anything that will help with with vocals if you're not a great singer which I'm not a great singer but um uh, the only thing that 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 sonar has for recording is called V vocal which is what we'll use a little bit but if you have auto tune that's a lot easier a lot of people are like oh no auto tune but auto tune is actually pitch correction software so you don't have to use it to sound like T-Pain if you don't want to you can just use it to help keep you help keep your vocals on point to where you want it to be Roland has V vocal and we'll use both we'll use both of them to show you how they work but to be in all honesty auto tune is just a lot easier and since we know that we're in F we're in F minor you know you could just set auto tunes up to F minor and then you could sing what you need to sing just make sure you're like halfway on and won't have to correct you but auto tune is pitch correction it was is pitch correction software that T-Pain just kinda overused and it sounded kinda cool and it still sounds cool I ain't gonna lie um, but we'll just go there right now I'm just gonna go Right now I'm just going to start from the beginning, I'm going to sing something, you're going to hear me sing, and then I'll stop, and then I'll bring you back in when I finish writing the song, okay? And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to leave the music up so you can hear the craziness of it, and then we'll go from there. All right. So I'm just going to plug my, I'm going to plug my headphones in. And I'll turn the music down just a little bit, but enough for you to hear it, and then we'll just go from there. So all you do to record vocals is you arm the track that you want, which I've already done, and you press R. Oh, and also when you're recording vocals, you'll want to turn the um, you'll want to turn the metronome off, which is right here, metronome during record, so that you don't have to hear that mess. You press. R. So what I did there was, I was just trying to give myself an idea of what to sing. It was kind of, it was real whack. Don't get me, don't get it twisted. Even the beat is whack. But just trying to give you a gist of what, of how to do it. And you know, and and uh, um, in sonar. So, so what you do now? We playing. Sing, sing, oh yeah. Hey baby, oh yeah. Now, I'm not saying nothing right there, so don't trip. Now, for pitch software, you can go to Roland V Vocal. I you just you can just press V, Control V. No, I'm sorry, not Control V. Uh, uh, it's something. Let me see. You can right click and go to V Vocal. Oh, Shift V. So you can create V vocal. You can do Shift V. It was one of those. Shift V, and it'll create the V vocal for you, and then it'll pull that up, um, and and then it's looking at it. And now, on this particular one, you can't tell it. Uh, let's see, pitch, format, dynamics. I don't use it that often. I usually use auto tunes, to be honest with you. But if you're gonna be in, um, 
if you're going to be an F minor, just take off all the ones that you don't want. So take off the F sharp and the G sharp and then and then keep that. Let me see. I got to play it here. Let me see. So you want to keep that and that. the F and the G, the A flat and the B flat, the C, C and D, C to D and the, and the E flat, alright, and then put that as a minor, ah, okay, and then you start over again, crap. So I'm just taking the I'm just taking the notes that I don't want, which are these. Uh, so we're going. Okay, and then I'm going to put correct. So once you push correct, it'll cor it'll basically correct the whole thing for you like fit in there and then you should have you should sound exactly the way you want to sound now if you want to do it like this if you don't have auto tunes and you want to make it sound like auto tunes all you gotta do is that, just flatten them out completely, and you correct it, and it'll flatten them out. Flatten, and it'll take away any vocals or any sense or um, something like that. I, don't know. I guess I don't know. Uh, man, to be honest with you. I think this is it. So you can do that. But it's, it's almost not even worth it. You know what I mean? It's almost just worth getting auto tune because all you got to do in auto tune is, is uh, pull it up on the track. Let's see. All you got to do in auto tune, right click find what you're looking for, audio effects, uh, VST plugins, autotune VST, virtual synth, and then all you gotta do is just put the key that you want, which is F, and then put major or minor, and, you know, put that on the alto tenor voice, and then, bam. It's just a lot easier. So, you know, that'll fix that. But either one, you know what I mean? At least you know that you can do it. Um, there's a couple tutorials on Roland V Vocal that you can learn how to use it if you don't want to use Autotune. Or you can, you know, hammer out the correct pitches on your own. But, you know, that's up to you. Okay, so now I'm going to write the song and I'm going to record some vocals on it. And then I'll hit you, we'll hit you back and we'll, sh we'll talk about um, how to, you know, paste them and put them on there and we'll talk about mixing and stuff. All right, bye.